even the agents in the building know how to say it. <laughs> well, we appreciate y'all too. You're doing a good job. Thank you for being here, holding the seats, making everyone feel nice and safe. Now, first thing I want to say is let us give a round of applause to our sister Kiki Y, who blew the roof.
that you control, tangible things that you manage and build, your independent schools, your independent hospitals, your independent businesses, entering into international trade and commerce. You cannot call yourself a free being. You will always be a slave if you do not own your own things. Does that make sense? This is why they attack when you start talking about show me something physical. Why don't you just, we'll give you a statue. That's physical. We'll name a street after one of your people. We'll give you June. <laughs> So it has to be known that we protect our children. 
It has to become a normal thing where we brag about the fact you're not going to mess with mine. We protect ours over here. And I want you to add that little bit. Let it be known. Stick your chest out. We protect ours over here. Is that okay? We brag about everything else? Why not brag about protecting our women? Protecting our children? Protecting each other's men rather than killing each other? Why not? I'll be damned if I see this many Amber Alerts over where I live. I've never, I've never, it, it, it blew my mind. Tim, we just had two more while we were waiting in the dressing room. I don't understand it. But I do understand. Was one right now, too? Check my other phone. We got two phones. Wow. Another one. What is going on in San Antonio? People lose their mind? Who is down there? See, everybody said, you know who's down there. You know who's down there. I do know. And in light of that, when I said, I don't understand what's going on, no, I do. You're talking about someone who can be sold for roughly $90. You're talking about someone who adds to a $9.5 billion annual stimulus package. It makes roughly $9.5 billion a year just child trafficking alone. Wow. The top areas happen to be Texas, San Antonio, obviously, <laughs> California, Orange County primarily, parts of Florida, Miami, and of course now, for some reason, it's an uptick in Georgia around Atlanta. The reason why they can record these numbers and the reason why it is happening so often and so regular and why the police are sending you license plates Let me say that one time. Hmm. Why are the police, don't we send them a license plate? What? The police are sending you a license plate. Okay, I'm gonna say this one more time. How many of y'all have tickets? Anybody have speed tickets, parking tickets? Yep. Yeah. How many of y'all have no holding that? Yeah, I have plenty of them. When they have the license plate, most cars have low jack, most cars have tracking devices. They can find the car long before you and I can. So why are they putting it on you? Because too many of them are in on it. So you need to use your intelligence here. Be spiritual first and connect deeply with the Almighty Supreme Being, Almighty God, Allah, Yah, the Most High. Be connected first and then use that intelligence to understand exactly what is happening. They take control of your environment because we refuse to. Can I say it one more time? Yeah. They take control of our environments because we refuse to. And if we continue to do that, we can't even blame them for doing what they do. It's what they do. And I'm not referring to the police, per se. I'm referring to those with this sick mentality who traffic children and traffic women and organ trafficking and different things of that nature. So I have to bring that up because, again, we just got hit with number 11 in less than 48 hours. That's a problem. So brothers and sisters, please protect your children. Please protect one another because once we argue on the internet and let the enemy know that we don't care about each other which makes us open targets. Do you hear me? Brother, we didn't come to hear you preach, okay? Oh, you did? Okay, do it! I'm going to do it anyway. Let's get into something that I know something else, but I have to make sure I give you that because it is very real. It's very real. The unity of our people is paramount, meaning it is senior above everything else. As of right now, we know for a fact that this government is turning on everybody. Everybody. It don't matter if you're black or white now to a degree, it'll give a day. It matters if you speak the truth, if you stand up for what is right, or if you go along with the plan. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. When they start attacking their own white cousins, that should let you know, well, damn, they us start planning. Because if they come, if they come after their own, then that should let you know. As the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, our unity is more powerful than a hydrogen or an atomic bomb. People quote things all the time, but have any of you been in the military? Quick question: Have any of you ever seen an explosion of quotes? Oh yeah. Moab, the mother of all bombs, Moab. Okay. You with it? Okay. The 
the power that, that throws off. When they see the unity of a people, they back all the way up. I'm stressing this point because it's going to get to a point. We failed the IQ test over the last three years. What was the IQ test? COVID. Say it again. Say it again. So y'all like, brother, please. I took the shot. I just don't. I just, I had to work. I had to work. You know what it is? I'm trying to let you. We're not here to come down on our people who took the shot, trust me. So that, that's, that's not what we are about. All right, we're not immature like that. You got different situations and different realities. People have children. Some of you only get one paycheck, and you have to struggle to get that paycheck, and you were threatened with that paycheck if you didn't take the shot, and you got two children to take care of, you got sick people to take care of, you have elders, family got one car, Everybody relying on just you, you had to make a decision. It was a sacrifice. I understand. I'm going to say this again to all of you in this room. I understand. Satan is not playing no games. And it is very real. And everyone in this room has faced it, whether they wanted to or not. It has become very real for you. Some of you, it was a little easier. You had a way to get around it. But for the majority of people, they could not get around it. And the enemy knew that. That's why he pressed you the way he did. But I'm saying to you now for the next round that they're talking about. Don't you ever let them press you again. Never. You stand up like a solid wall set to hell with you. To hell with you. I trusted you before. Or I let you bend me back to do this because I had no choice. I'm not doing it again. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Don't let them punk you. There's a lot of people getting in there got all the smoke for everybody except the enemy. You got all the smoke for your brother. All the smoke for your sister. That enemy popped up, you real quiet. Yes, sir. Well, how would you like those papers, Mr. Johnson? Right away, Mr. Lester, whatever. You don't think we don't see that? Well, revolutionary on a computer and at, at the job, a straight tie and just, Lord, I haven't seen some of these cats in person. Look at that. Keyboard gangsters. Seriously. <laughs> the next pandemic that the World Health Organization has said is coming out, but that they're announcing they're going to release. <laughs> because I didn't really know that they said now is going to infect upwards of 65 million people in China. How did you project that? And now they're calling it disease X. <laughs> Check the names. Disease X that they coined over 20 years ago, mind you. But now they're saying we don't know how to prepare for it. Of course. Vaccine 30,284. So what do you think they're going to offer you as a solution? Hmm. Y'all what's that? Y'all been on the internet so long, y'all like, I don't want to get shut down by folks. I don't <laughs> You're in person now. Wait, wait. I can't. What is it? <laughs> you know what? On the count of three, I want y'all to say it as loud as you can want to say it. The big D word. One, two, three. Vaccine. All oh, right, you feel better now? Like, yes, I'm gonna get taken down. You might, you might, you might. <laughs> Their solution is always something bad. Always. The enemy always comes in the name of hell. Satan comes in a way where it looks like he's going to do you a favor. I'm here to help you. I'm going to help you. Ronald Reagan said the nine most terrifying words are, quote, I am from the government and I am here to help. <laughs> Ronald Reagan said it. Google it right now. Y'all no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He said the nine most terrifying words are, I am from the government and I am here to help. Hmm. When you see some of these artists and celebrities, let me make this warning to all of you very clear. We gave you in the hood, we call it a pass. Spirituality, we call it grace. In 
first. That's Old Testament. But what else is, no, pardon me, that's New Testament. But what's Old Testament? Fire and brimstone, water. I will tell you this now. To all of the black artists, I'm warning you, do not put on for Satan. Don't promote his poison to our people ever again. Do not encourage us to take something from him. Don't you open your damn mouth. I'm going to say like the honorable Mr. Farrakhan said, all you scared to death Negro. Yeah. Just say that. Don't you come out to defend our enemy. You sit down and you shut up and tell your master to come on out and deal with this. That's what Farrakhan said, and we back that up all day, every day. Don't take kindness and weakness and do not take mercy for a complete, elongated past. You will not be able to do this and go unchecked. Because the blood of the people is on your hands because you sided with Satan. I got the list of all of you. And you think you gotta just sit here and just keep going to your concerts, keep going watching your damn pumpedified, stanky movies? Y'all mind if I get real? No, I see because they don't get the calls from the families. You don't work with these parents. Dealing with their children in the hospitals, they took the damn shot 12 hours later, they're seizing and going crazy, and they die right on their table. You don't know what that feels like. Talk about it. Calling not talking about, oh, I'm actually doing what the government says, safe and effective, safe and effective. You sound like a damn man. Huh. Safe and effective, safe and effective. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. You don't know nothing. And I'm talking about those of you with PhDs too. The same is for many of you. There's a reason why spiritual leaders give us the knowledge and help us to see what we don't see because we think we got it with all of our PhD white man science. You think you got it and you step out with what you think is the right knowledge. You make a big mistake and then you don't even have the decency to apologize. These shots have now been verified to have killed over 500,000. The shots are now coming out as being illegal in some countries. Europe is banning them in multiple countries in Europe. Currently, Pfizer is being sued because of a patent infringement. Moderna is being sued, pardon me, because of a patent infringement. These countries, these leaders, and tons of whistleblowers are coming out saying they knew about it beforehand. You knew about myocarditis. In the trial data, it showed what was happening to the hearts of children. In the trial data, it showed what was happening to the women in their miscarriages, where as a result of the damn shot, and you knew about it. Due to a Freedom of Information Act request, you knew, and you kept pushing. So any of you who think you're doing I think there comes a time where you will not be able to keep the people off of you. Don't say nothing to reason. Don't say, don't call for our now. Or the minister again. I told you, July 4th, 2020. Minister Farrakhan, in the criterion, July 4th, 2020, go watch it again. He told the Pope, he told Xi King, the leader of China, he told Donald Trump of America. He told all of the African leaders, when they come out with a vaccine, do not take it. And he said, if they force this on us, we will take that as a declaration of what? Oh. Simple as that. Simple as that. So, ladies, how much more time I have, brother? Two more minutes. Just two minutes. Take your time. Take your time. They're going to get you. Oh, Timmy, oh, Timmy, 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 Timmy. Thank you, Mr. Timmy, thank you. See, put pressure. Think, <laughs> see. All right, that's it. Let's finish this in 10 minutes, y'all. Y'all all right? Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah. Real quick, let's run this really fast here. Um, the 
the point is with the new quote unquote pandemic, I'm gonna give you a few things to look out for. Number one, yes, the artists, celebrities, politicians coming to your door, coming to your house, dancing, TikToking, tell them to go to hell. Please, I can all, you've seen this before, change the channel. Now, next point, you want to detox now. So you wanna make sure you get the sweats in, you wanna make sure you do heavy metal detoxes in particular. So there's a lot of those, but that's one of the main things you want to focus on. Another thing I'm going to tell you now, brothers and sisters, you have to get in shape. I'm going to say this to you, please. Sincerely. Sincerely. Because the first wave of people were people who had pre-existing medical conditions. I'm talking about people who had diabetes, who had heart disease and high blood pressure and obesity and asthma. And you know, a lot of our people, that's what we got. It's because of our diet. How we eat, we gotta stop. Wean yourself off, get back to fruits and vegetables, start walking, and go from walking to jogging, and go from jogging to running. Brothers, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. We, we, we talk real big. Don't do that. For the reason, get back up when he says this. Physically. But it took time. And I want us all to be able to say that. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be a few of us left to protect the entire nation of our sisters. Do you know what I'm saying? It's embarrassing as hell. We out here talking real heavy. You get in there like a dual push-up. Like, hold on, just give me one. <laughs> Seriously, because the spiritual has a mental and a physical counterpart in reality. There's a reality on every level. And we have to be efficient in every one of them. Does that make sense? Okay, but make sure I just drove that point home. Sisters, don't be looking at the brother that's you like, mm-hmm. Don't do that. And brothers, don't do that to the sisters. I told you. That's your man. He said it right there. Don't do that to each other. I know how we think. Don't do that. <laughs> Many of the people who took the shot over 5.5 billion. I'm going to say it again to you. The majority of the human family on the planet took at least one dose. Hmm. What does this mean? Many of the reactions that are coming up from the shots, and let's make this very clear, no one can tell you that something is completely safe and effective for you and completely safe and effective for someone else when everyone has their own individual level of chemistry. Individual susceptibility. Very basic in biology. This is 10th grade. 10th grade. It's about how do you know? Because I have something called an innate, God-given immune system. That he gave me when I got here. You still can't replicate it. You don't know how to make it. So no one wholeheartedly could say that any guest who was found out to be alive. It was not safe, nor was it effective. Hence why I thought you went to court. Is that right? Yeah. Have you heard that? Hence why I thought you went to court. And they would bring more people to court. Turns out he did help to make the virus more able to go from animal to human being. Something called gain of function research sponsored by the United States government, just like with AIDS and other ones. You think you're dealing with a different enemy all of a sudden? Same damn enemy. Stop trusting him. For the love of God, stop. Some of y'all got a white girlfriend and just think it's okay. We made it, Brother Reza. You got you. Fine. You will live your life. But don't make it seem as though the system itself has changed. Because mm -hmm. a few individuals seen the evil of their ancestors and want to get away from it because there are some. There's some white folks who really, really do not want to go to heaven.
Neuralink. Raise your hand if you've heard of Neuralink. I should. Thank you. We need a game. Thank you. This is smart for anything else other than applaud. Come on, please. Please have a applause. Because we're studying. It's good. Knowing is one side of the battle. Being prepared is the other. Neuralink was just approved for human trials less than 72 hours ago. And I told everybody who was able to see any post that, <laughs> we'll put it up, <laughs> that Elon Musk took over Twitter, sure. For free of speech, yeah, it's about half the reason. The other way, the reason was to gather all the data from people. Y'all hear me? Voluntarily. How we think, our behavior, our patterns, all of this, to get a simulation of a human being or an avatar to put inside of this digital system. They are saying we're going to approve these brain chips so that people who are paraplegic, who, who can't walk, can use this brain chip to help to stimulate the muscles and nerves in the legs to help them to walk better. Doesn't that sound nice? Mm. They give a damn about people being able to walk. Satan always comes in the name of hell. The brain chip is very old. It is an old technique. You have to know someone by the name of Louis Jolly West. Louis Jolly West, an insane psychiatrist, a Caucasian professor at UCLA, who was doing brain drilling experiments and putting electrodes in the brains of black and brown men. And if they exhibited some kind of behavior he didn't like, they would shock them. That was UCLA. It's a very old technique to control the brains of the people because that has been the number one thing. They have always wanted to prick the brain. Control the minds of the people. Do y'all hear? Yeah. That is coming. Get ready for it because a lot of people who are in control of very critical positions affecting our daily lives will be involved in this. You've seen it in tons of movies, all the way from Minority Report, all the way to Demolition Man, yes. Kingman 2 with Samuel Jackson. It's a very real thing. Manchuria, Canada, you name it, it's a very real thing. And again, the last thing I want to say here, I know it's a lot of things, I'm trying to run through this. The disinformation doesn't. How many of you heard of that? Nope. That's the list of brothers on yep. from the White House. There were 12, and now there are 11 left. One of the only brothers on the list, Dr. Rashid Patar, passed away about four or five days ago. He said three days before his passing, he said on video, I was poisoned with five kinds of venom. And what they put in my body is roughly 200 times the amount of that which are in the COVID vaccines. He said, and he said, if I die, just know they did this to me. This is very real. Because the next wave of what they're trying to get to the people, they know you got 12 people standing up exposing everything Satan is doing, along with a larger list of others. But they're looking at the people on the list. I'll be damned if you come this way and I do nothing about it. Y'all should have been clapping at that. <laughs> I got that right to here ready to get you up. Let the enemy know that you are willing to stand up for yourself. Because what we are doing is right. And if you stand up for what is right and they try to attack you for it, then keep standing. I have to take them off of every one of their damn platforms. They made a dime from them. I don't give a damn. I don't do it for the money, obviously. Because I would shut up a long time ago about stuff that I was getting taken down. Ain't that right, Brother Ben? Brother Ben tried to get me monetized on Facebook. They was like, mm, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> I monetized for like two weeks. And they was like, nah, we don't get taken off. So as I close, man, this is a, a mentality that we have to get into, which is self-preservation of our people, unity among our people, no matter what the label is. Of course, foundation of black American, of course. Of course, not a bad thing. Don't get that twisted. However, we have our family who may not go under the label, but they will go under attack the same way. And we all are going to catch this smoke that the enemy is trying to put on us, and we have to be willing to stand up. Mean this. Stop talking about it if you're not willing to be about it. I end with saying that those of you who are going to vote, 
What's that you read? Without tangibles? You have people who are going to run for president, but you have something called finishing schools that are above fraternities and sororities. You have different clubs that groom the top 1%, porcelain club, fly club, speed club, the clubs that Franklin Delano Roosevelt came out of, the JFK, you name it. Remember, as the Honorable Mr. Farrakhan said, and many others have said this as well, the people who rule America were selected before they were elected. Never get this twisted. You think, not all of you, but generally, people watching, you think that you voted this person in. No. They work for who funds them. And as long as pharmaceuticals are in control, as long as these international bankers are in control, and the wicked manipulate, manip, uh, manipulators of the mind or psychiatrists are in control, we will continue to face this situation. But as long as we stand up as a people collectively united, then we will be able to get out of this condition because I don't believe these people are going to free us like that. I don't have a trust, nor do I have any kind of faith in the system, do you? Be careful. Some of you do. When I say I have no trust nor faith in this system at all, I mean that. But some of us have to reevaluate the fact of whether or not we trust this system because some of us do without really knowing it. This is not the system that is going to free us. We have to come together and free ourselves. Did y'all hear? While we leave you with that, I pray I was able to give you some answers, some solutions. Some clarity, some confidence, some courage stands to your feet. Let me know where I want people. Let me know what we'll do what needs to be done to secure our future as the people. And nobody will prevent us from doing it. That's my lady. Give it up one more time for this the reason. Look, look, at the bigger picture, guess you a figure, here's a simple nigger, nigger, nah, I'm the type that other put